everyone, I'm the Herb Pink Kid and welcome to our journey where we explore snakes, their relatives and the world's growing passion for these magnificent creatures. Today we will be discussing two myths about snakes, but before we get into that, excuse that for the lightning, I mean thunder. Um, yes, it is, the weather has been a bit up and down here in South Africa for just a little while, but also, go check out my Instagram and my Twitter and Patreon in the description down below. Okay, so I didn't upload last week. I apologize for that. I mean, not last week, uh, on Monday, I apologize. The weather was very rainy, uh, so I couldn't film, unfortunately. However, Monday's video is carrying on today and then to, uh, today's video is going to be Monday's video. So the snake profiling series will be moved from a Friday to Monday now instead. So yeah. So we will start off with snake ID. I have seen a picture circling around a few months ago that had a lot of misinformation in it guys. It, it, oh, it annoyed the heck out of me. But first it starts with the teeth marks that a snake leaves if it bites you if it there are two holes in it it's venomous if there are multiple holes in it it's not now first off most snakes will not have multiple teeth marks even non-venomous snakes will have two teeth marks almost guaranteed i've been bitten many times by brown house snakes and they have no venom at all they're constrictors so yeah it's it's just a bit wrong there but then there's also the head shape it says if a snake has a slender head it's non-venomous if it has a triangular head it's venomous this is very wrong for very many reasons first off the herald snake it presses its head down when it's uh, um, threatened to make itself look bigger the herald snake has a very mild venom and it'll do barely anything to people. Then we get the black mamba. It has a very slender coffin shaped head, very slender, similar to what they show in that picture. And it is one of the most venomous snakes on the planet. Same with the inland taipan, same with the coastal taipan, same with the green mamba. It's truly very, very deceiving. Then also, if the snakes have slit eyes, um, they are non-venomous if a snake has round, or pupils rather, if a snake has round pupils, it is venomous. This is, this is, I mean non-venomous, this is false. A black mamba has round pupils indicating that it is diurnal, that is the only difference. The only difference between slit pupils and round pupils is that a slit pupil shows that a snake is diurnal, a round pupil, show, I mean nocturnal, a round pupil shows that a snake is diurnal. It just, uh, a round pupil allows for more light to enter and it allows for much better vision in the day. And then, yeah, so, as I said, black mamba has a round pupil. They are very venomous. Then again, there's also some non-venomous snakes which have slit pupils, so false. Then uh, the last, well, the second and last myth for the day is that snakes are deaf. This is false, guys. Snakes have hearing orifices. It's, however, it is from one side of the head directly through to the other side. If you took the scale covering it off, you could see straight through the head. And that's the exact reason why they have a scale there. The scale is there so that they can protect the contents of their head. And obviously their hearing devices within their head. And well, the scale is the reason they can't hear very well at all. Snakes are very bad at hearing. However, they can still hear. They are not deaf. Hit that like button if you enjoyed and consider subscribing for more snake and animal content every Monday and every Friday. And I will see you next time.